I do this, checking connection. Oh, let me go check it here. Can you say if we're going to wait until and let everyone in? Okay. Hello, everyone. This is Shirley Susilo. We are going to start our live drawing demo in just a few. This is a few seconds. Our live drawing demo in just a few. Please feel free to wait and be patient because patience is a virtue. Patience is gold. You hear that, everyone? So. Seen a few people joining in. Yeah, two. Two. Uh, yeah, YouTube on YouTube also. Ah. Three people are watching. Yes. Now. ACA United FC. Mm. And we saw an purple log flower. <laughs> <laughs> Or Gordon, Gordon Club. SMG Frenzy. Thanks for showing up, guys. And well, I hope everyone is having a good day so far. Hello. Yes, hello, old Golden Club. Jeffrey Alfaro. Yes, I will draw. Don't worry, I will draw. Like life depends on it. Oh, hi, Glitter Glow Window. I know you. We used to be in the same class together. Yes, yes, yes. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> oh, poor golden cub. Okay, hello everyone. Minasan konnichiwa. Thank you for joining us for our second live drawing demo demo with Combo USA and Shirley Cecilia. Today, Shirley will be drawing Matsuri or festival related drawings. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave it in the chat. We hope you enjoy. Okay. Hello, everyone. This is Shirley Susilo. Again, this is my second time running this live drawing demo with Combo USA and Japan Fest. So for those of you who happen to miss the first one, feel free to check out uh, our first video, demo video in our on Japan Fest Atlanta. Uh, YouTube channel and also hopefully you could learn a thing or two either about drawing or the awesome tumble products that we are going to talk about in a bit so they are very kind to send me a few goodies to work on to use for today and then the cool thing is one of their new products are the ABT Pro they come in single tones like this, so these, this, these are the blue tones. And then they also have these basic palettes with a gazillion different colors. And then the manga palettes. Manga palettes. Yes, there's that. And then the next one is these are the gray palettes, grayscale. So for those of you who ever need grayscale markers in a pack, this would be the set to go. So these are the different palettes that you can, so the, the top ones are the blue, blue tones. These are the manga palettes here. And these are the basic palettes. And these are the gray palettes. Again, what's great about ABT Pro is that they have flexible brush tip and broad chisel tip. So this is the chisel tip. You can see angled and all. And then this is the brush tip, which is awesome. Very smooth. And then their permanent ink is very fast for drawing. 
and then they have rich and vibrant color and then they're great for layering for example here and then also they're available in a hundred and plus colors in a blender pen and the cool thing is they have this grip and um, see this see how on the cap they have this protrusion on both sides so when you roll them when you put them on the table it's gonna stop rolling yeah so this is this product is ideal for all of you who do creative tools out there and the cool thing is even when you layer the inks the, the it won't kill the paper on the other side then i'm not sure if you know I can show you a few basic techniques on how to do the how to do your marker. Good. I can't speak today. So what you can do is let's say for example with the pressure, you can play around with the you can go thin like this. See, you can depending on your pressure, you could go thick and thin. Right, so this, and then you can go like that. So depending on your need, feel free to adjust your pressure. Then, then another one is, of course, so essentially you pull, push and drag, push and drag, push and drag, yeah. Then if you need to color a certain large area, you can use the chisel, the chisel M. And then you can again push and drag, push and drag, so on, and so forth. Yeah. That's what you call the streaking. And then this is the circular stroke. So Essentially, these are only the basic techniques. And of course, you, as creative souls, you are welcome to create your own mark making. So for example, you can simply you can do that for mark making. Or you can simply you know, just go like that right so depending on your need you know this is what's cool about the brush tip as well it's versatile you come in different colors you can mix and match okay so there's that and then yes if you want to see more of the techniques here you can check out our video of our first demo at the japan fest atlanta youtube channel then this is something else that's cool about their mechanical pencil. You know, mechanical pencil is every it's important to everyone's life. So, so with this mechanical pencil, they call it the monograph. See this monograph. So with this, a cool thing is see this eraser. You can roll it up. You will erase, yeah, and then, and this is the really cool thing about this that I'm sure probably not a lot of you know. This is common in Asia or in, or in Japan, but at least they call they have this. This is a shaker knot type mechanical pencil in a sense. In order for you to release the lead, instead of pressing this part of the this end of the pencil, you have to shake it. So for example, so on this side, I don't know if you can see, hopefully you can see here. This is the on and the off. So if you, if you, if this part is put on the on, if you shake, you see that lead coming out. Let me, let me do this one more time. See that? It's all coming out. Can you also see this, yeah. this camera? Okay. Yeah. Can you see? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so there is that, right? And then 
you can if you and this is the off button and if you pull this down it will if, even if you shake it the lead will not come out so you can draw as freely as you want until your lead runs out and then of course if you want to refill the lead reload it you can just switch back to on let keep shaking and then so on and so forth and then if you want to, I don't know, hide the lid, just press this, hold it, then, oh, you know, and there, it's gone, right? Can you see? Hopefully you can see it, yeah. So, so there's that. Uh, so I guess now, oh, yes, another cool thing is erasers. This is an awesome eraser that I just found out about mono, the mono eraser. So for all this time, <laughs> <laughs> this is my half, my half dead tombow eraser that I've been that I've been treasuring my whole life. <laughs> one time I went to Japan, I liked it so much I bought the entire box of this. I should have bought the new one, but this is still awesome. I still treasure this, but they're nice enough to send me this product. It's new eraser called Dust Catch. So what's special about the, the about it is, if you erase, okay, actually, I'll give you an example. If let's say I erase this, right? Do you see how there, there's a dust? The dust is, you know, going around like mad people. And then if let's say, Use a dust catch. Okay. There is no dust because you know why? The dust is being caught by the eraser. See that? So even if let's say, even if let's say there's some dust on, you know, on the paper, that's easy. All you can do is press it. And it sticks, right? Yes. So this is awesome. Yeah, this is genius. Invention. Yeah, this is definitely <laughs> genius because yeah, you know how messy it can get when it comes to erasing. So I love this. Again, thanks Tombow USA. So without further ado, oh yes, this pencil. They come in different beautiful pastel colors. So they they come in pastel blue, pink and so on and so forth. So check out their Tombow USA website. Okay, without further ado, so. So the other day we took two polls over on our Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter pages. Our first poll was, what summer activity did you want to see Shibuwan doing? The votes were pretty close, but a lot of you wanted to see Shibuwan holding Senko Hanabi. So for those of you who don't know what Senko Hanabi is, it's a traditional Japanese firework that dates back to around 1927. Senko in Japanese means incense stick, incense stick <laughs> and hanabi, which literally translates to flower fire, is the word for fireworks. So what's different about Senko hanabi from other fireworks is that you have to pinch the top and hold the Senko hanabi vertical so that the lit end faces down. So after a second or two of lighting the firework, you'll see a molten bubble form. And at that point, you have to have a steady hand. If you're not careful, that tiny shimmering ball of fire will drop off and the show is over. If, however, you can hold it very still, you will be able to enjoy the hypnotizing beauty of Japanese Senko Hana. All right, there you have it, folks. So we are going to draw Shiba Wang, which is a... Shiba Inu, famous Japanese breed of dog, holding Senko Hanabi. Thank you for the explanation. Now I know what it is. <laughs> I've seen it a lot in anime or manga. So, yes. So, yes, let me know if you guys like playing with fireworks in general. And then, yeah, when 
do you usually play with fireworks? I know over here in the U.S. it's probably Fourth of July, but is there any other time of the year where you would play with fireworks? Let us know in the comment section. Yeah. So, yes. Here I'm drawing Shiba Long's face. So usually what I like to do in the before I draw anything, I draw the rough, I draw the rough sketch. You know, just like this. So I don't know if you're drawing human, it would be the stick figure. Yes, stick figure. That's right. Stick figures work. So you can do that. And, um, and then from there, just work your way up. Oh, Thor Golden Cup. Wow, you're... Yeah. I am happy that you're excited. So, yes, hopefully, yeah, if you're interested in any of the Tombow USA products, feel free to go to their website. And actually, if you happen to be a JASG member, we call it the Japan America Society of Georgia member. Apparently, you can get discount if you buy their products. And also Japanese Chamber of Commerce. And then the and then also the Japanese Chamber of Commerce of Georgia, right? Yes. Yes. Oh, I didn't know you guys have membership too. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Yes, if you're if you've ever used any Tombow products before, maybe you can also let us know in the comment section which products you've used before. It'll be awesome to know. Well, for me, for sure, it's this Mono Eraser, and then I think I might have used their markers too when I was small ages ago. They're really good. Oh, yeah. And let's see, what type, oh, Thor Golden Cup, what type of paper are you drawing on? Yes, this is actually what I'm using right now, which is exactly what you said, a Bristol board. So it's very thick, and then it also absorbs ink really well, which is why I'm using it. So here's that, and... Um, also, this paper is good for inking with those of you because, well, later you'll see because I will be inking this. So, yeah. So, yes, keep those coming. Which Tombow products that you've used before, or if not, any products of theirs that they caught your eye, feel free to let us know too. Yeah. Okay. So yes, I hope you guys have been having a good day today. How's the weather there so far? Hopefully it's been good. It was raining earlier here, but I don't know if it's still raining, but... What kind of fireworks do you like? What kind of fireworks? Yeah. It's actually been a while since I play any fireworks. Actually, you know what? I don't think I'm into fireworks just because in general I'm afraid of fire mm -hmm. or just anything hot. So yeah. So yeah, firework, yeah. I would enjoy viewing it from afar, but the actually holding yeah. it, yeah. Yeah, I'm afraid. I need to protect my hands. <laughs> Let's do any artist their hands, their important assets. This may as crazy as may sound, but yeah, that's the case. What materials are you using today? Oh, wow. Well, as I mentioned before, well, this is one of them. The dust catch eraser from Combo USA. And this monograph, monograph. 
mechanical pencil. This is Bristol board right here. And then some of the Pro ABT Pro markers that we will use later on. So there's that. Yes. Any comments? So yeah, like like mentioned earlier, you are welcome to uh, give. My brain stops working. Um, you're welcome to request. So if you're wondering what I'm doing now, I am. I am. Yeah. So inking is, is essentially. Well, I guess some people may say, oh, it's simply creating an outline of an artwork. But if, if you're a comic artist, you would know that inking is a it's an important skill to have. So I used to be a comic artist, so I know these skills before. And yes. So actually, yeah, tell me, are any of you here are actually working or interested to enter the creative field at some point? If yes, let us know. So, yes, with inking, it's not just simply, you know, outlining the artwork, like I said. Just depending on your style of inking, with this brush tip, for example, you can surely utilize the pressure technique that I showed earlier to create dimension. The thick and thin, for example, it's very, yeah, beneficial. Oh, also, for some of you who actually attended our last live drawing demo the last time, if you have any inputs or comments, we would love to hear them. So, yeah, keep those coming. Oh wow, Thor Golden Cup. I sell my artists' originals, prints, and stickers on Etsy and eBay, so I guess I'm an independent artist. Ooh, cool. Do you have a personal art page or Instagram we can follow? Yes, as you can see here, here. This is my Instagram, so feel free to follow me and of course, Tumbo USA and then Japan Fest Atlanta. So without them, this will not be possible. So there is that. Okay, this is almost done. When it comes to drawing, um, what process do you like the most? Like pen, um, like now. Um, Painted or mm, yeah. oh, uh, yes. coloring or what mm. process do you like the most? I can't say there's any favorite. I like all of them because they're essential. I mean, they're important. So I can't really, yeah, I can't choose. I like <laughs> all of them. Although I gotta say, though, inking is challenging just because. Well, for those of you who check out my last demo, inking, when you ink, just make sure you're not high on caffeine because it is can make your hand shaky. And then, yeah, your lines can get shaky. So here I am right now. Since I'm done inking, I am going to erase the pencil lines. See, this is what's cool about the Bristol pad as well. The even after you erase, the texture of the paper will remain smooth. 
and it will not get scratched or what do you call it, get rough at some point. And then again, look at this dust catch. It really catches the dust of your eraser. So folks, if you hate cleaning up after drawing, seriously, pick up this eraser. It's a good investment and time saver. So, so there is that. See that one. So now we're off to coloring. A So in this case for their fur, I use um, two different colors, which later I will mix to create a C-balance color. Oh, oops, actually. So yes, when it comes to dogs, you guys, do you have any favorite breed of dogs that you like? Or maybe the type that you don't like. Either way, share your thoughts in the comment section. See, for some of you are probably wondering, oh, this area of Balance head, I should be coloring it with the chisel tip. So, why am I using the, uh, the brush tip? It's just my preference because it's easier for me to control because there are so many little areas here. So, yep, there you go, folks. Again, I can't explain things too well. I apologize, but hopefully you get the gist. So here I'm combining, I'm combining it with a, with a color. Hmm? Oh, the brush is so smooth. Loving this. So, yeah. Oh. Or Golden Cup. I like Lhasa Opso and Shih Tzu. What is Lhasa Opso? I don't know. Lhasa Opso. Lhasa Opso. I have never heard of that bro the dog breed. Where? Yeah. Where is that from? <laughs> oh, oh, I see. That's a. That's a. It looks like a walking night girl. Night night girl falls. Wow. You like yeah. any dogs, eh? Ah. Yeah, in my case, yeah. Shiba Inu, Pembroke Welsh Corgi. They're my favorite. Because they are cute and they have somehow, like, uh, I somehow have the tendency to like dogs with ears that stick up. They just look smarter that way. I don't know. So, you right. prefer a dog to a cat? Hmm. Yeah, cats sometimes they have their their minds, huh? They're kind of hard to control. <laughs> <laughs> so, it could be pretty challenging at times. Yeah. Hmm. So just out of curiosity, you guys, where are you located at right now? Are you in the US or are you located elsewhere? Lhasa are from Tibet. The food dogs in front of the temples are based on them. The food dogs. Food dogs. 
Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you meant. Oh, vibes only from GA. Cool. Hello to a fellow uh, Georgian. and refresh in this heat. Yeah. Okay, I'm here in Georgia. Oh, Alex G. Good to houses. Lighthouses? A lighthouse. <laughs> I can't read today. Lighthouses. Late, but here. Yes, thank you. folks um yeah quite a few quite a few people from georgia any is there anyone else from outside of georgia maybe yes no yeah either way wherever you are stay safe and Healthy. Wash your hands. And wash your hands. Wash your hands like wipe the pen on it. I mean it. Wear a mask. Wherever. And wear a mask, of course. Yes. Yes. Wear a mask. Yes. Yeah. So he, um, joined the Hugo on. Yes, see? Here. Just like Shiba Wang. Follow his example. Wash your hands and wear a mask. Yeah. And you live forever. So, okay, here I'm reading the fireworks. Senko Hanabi. So I guess in Japan, Senko Hanabi is one of the popular ones, right? Are there any yes. other kinds that are also popular? Yeah, very popular. Ah. Are there any favorite ones or popular ones that you like? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is actually my first time reading a, what do you call it, a fireworks artwork. So I hope you guys like more results. And yes, for those of you who are wondering, it is not a sin to look at references while you draw. It is actually preferred so that you can draw things accurately. Well, if you're liking it, liking this so far. So again, done. Shiba Wan holding a Senko Hanabi. So next, folks, is, yes, you guessed it right, Ramune. That's, that's very beautiful. Yeah. Oh. The gradation. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Again, with the... Can you close? Yes. So, 
little box there. And this one. Yeah. Thank you. So, yes. Move on to the next. So, the second poll we took was what you wanted Chibawan to eat or drink. We had either ramen or lingo ramen, which is candy apple. Those two things are staple matsuri goods. So, over 70% of our votes voted for ramen. Uh, for those of you who don't know, ramen is a Japanese carbonated soft drink, and it was actually introduced all the way back in 1884. It's known for its distinctive design of its bottle. It's made of glass and sealed with a tiny little marble, and you actually have to use this plastic cap that it comes with to push the marble inside to drink. So the original Ramune flavor is lemon lime, but there's at least more than 50 flavors of Ramune now. Do you guys have a favorite? I think mine might be melon or original. Oh, Ramune. That is one thing that I have yet to try, but I'm excited. We can find find them at Japanese grocery stores or um, farmers market. Yes. Yeah. Or any Asian markets, yeah. 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 Oh, surprise! I I found them in Georgia. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. I didn't expect. Yeah. So. Yeah, someone told me that it tastes like cider yes, or sparkling exactly. cider. Yeah. No, I'm excited yeah. because I love spark cider. Ramune is actually simple cider. Yeah, oh. sparkling cider. But it is very cider. It is very delicious if we drink it in festival. Uh, summer festival. Yeah. yeah. Oh. It is very fresh. Mm. Yeah, sometimes with these beverage beverage companies, I wonder how they come up with different flavors. I mean, yes, let's say why watermelon compared to I don't know. Melon, let's say. Or And then, yeah, it's strawberry compared to orange. And so looking at the flavors online, you can get anything from banana to champagne flavor, um, cream stew flavor, lychee, and so on. Cream stew. Cream stew. There's also cream. curry. Oh my, <laughs> curry. Teriyaki, wasabi, all kinds of flavors now. Korean. Oh my god, the savory flavor. Yeah. Would any of you be interested in trying it out? Actually, are they even available here? <laughs> <laughs> curry flavor. Yeah, curry and what? And cream stew and wasabi. How about kimchi that's, flavor? That's weird. Oh, there's actually kimchi too. Oh. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? But, oh my god, kimchi. Yep. Again, me as a who's new with Ramune. It's a whole world of flavors for me to try. I'm excited. So. Yes, for those of you who have tried Damune, which ones are your favorite flavor, if there is any? Uh, Actually, also, yeah, nice job of the packaging design. I wonder how they come up with it. Actually, 
actually the name even. I wonder where that came from. So apparently the name Baminet comes from the English word lemonade. Whoa. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> have it folks lemonade well, that grape vibes yeah. only says grape is their favorite flavor <laughs> ay, 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 ay. ah there you go that looks just right the original is good Vibes only. Yeah. So, okay. Um, yeah. okay. Ballad, January Stone. Shirakiku. I guess that's a big beverage or food and beverage company in Japan. Yeah, uh, no, um, that is, I mm. think it is located at California. Yeah, really? Yeah, Shirakiku. Oh, you mean the... Shirakiku. Yeah? Yeah. The company in the US. And they, the product are Japanese related, like natto or something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh. we, we can see a lot of Shirakiku brand in Japanese grocery stores. Ah. Yeah. Shirakiku natto is the cheapest one <laughs> in <laughs> Japanese grocery stores. So I, I often buy it. Talk about natto, everyone. Does any of you know what natto is? Or if you happen to like it. Natto is yes. one of the weirdest food. <laughs> <laughs> weirdest Japanese food. I know even the Japanese, some of them. Yeah, only Japanese can eat natto. I even heard that there are some Japanese who hate nattos. Natto. Yeah, it, even my father doesn't like natto. <laughs> Oh, see, in my case, I like natto. Oh, yeah. Yes. So whenever I order natto from a Japanese place, mm -hmm. that would make sure, like, you sure you know what natto is, right? <laughs> like, yes, I do. That's why I ordered it. So, yep. Okay. Okay, here is another product that I want to show you guys. Combo as a school drawing pens. What drawing pens are? See, they come in different thickness from 0 0.1 until 0 0.8, and you can ink your character. So, right now, I'm going to use this to ink. Oh, vibes only. Yes, not those things. And January Stone, yes, my little sister wants to try it bad. I gotta say though, when people say it stinks, maybe I'm too used to the flavor. I'm not sure. But I don't think it stinks. Yeah, me too. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. <laughs> we, we don't care about the, the smells. And... The thing, yeah, the thing is, I don't even yeah. know. It, it, I don't it, notice the smell anymore. Yeah, exactly. So, here I am. I'm starting the pang ire or the inking stage. So, yeah, going back to Nato. <laughs> I, how, yeah. How do you eat Nato? With soy sauce. soy sauce. Or sometimes in restaurant they have it mixed with either squid mm -hmm. or ma or the tuna sashimi. Mm -hmm. It's an appetizer usually, right? Oh, appetizer. Yeah. I know some people, they eat it with, what, eggs? Yes. Right, egg and, and rice. Put put them all rice together. Ah. But it, it is very, uh, also good with uh, noodles and. Oh yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, I guess it's, yeah. I never tried it with noodles, though. Yeah, probably gonna give it a try someday. Not the, yeah, it's nutritional. It's healthy for you. Yes, very healthy. Very healthy. So for those who do not like natto, <laughs> any alternatives that they can take? <laughs> Is there any? They like natto and beef mm, I like natto. Ah. I'm not sure if this is true, but I heard in Japan when girls like natto, they're kind of frowned upon. Is that true? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I guess I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What kind of Japanese dish do you not like? Mm. Or actually, let me change it to what are your favorite Japanese dishes? <laughs> actually, you know what? I've tried osechi. Osechi. There are a few of there are a few items in there that I actually don't like, just because I don't know it tastes plain to me. Mm. Yeah, plain, and it's tastes gooey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, talk about oseti, you guys. Yeah, you eat it every New Year's Eve. Yes, or? that is. Yeah. So yeah, I'm sure each one, each food there represents something, right? Am I right? So sochi is a traditional Japanese New Year's food, and it actually the tradition started back in the Heian period. So that's like around the 794 per year. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. And you can usually recognize them because they're in special boxes called jubako, which oh. is kind of like an obento box for those who've seen bento boxes. Mm. And so you stack them up and it's filled with all kinds of dishes. Yes. Every year I could <laughs> yeah. It's pretty complicated, right? Last last year I cooked uh, sixteen oh no, eight, eighteen dishes yeah. by myself. Oh. I spent three days oh, <laughs> wow. to cook all of them. Three days. The most time consuming one is black beans. Oh, it takes three days. Three days. Oh, you yeah. have to marinate. Do you yeah. have to marinate them? Um, Is that the deal? We, uh, we have to soak them in hot water at first. The first day, yeah. Second day, we, uh, we have to simmer them <gasps> nine hours. Okay. <laughs> nine hours. Oh, wow. Nine hours. So I guess you left it overnight. Yeah, we, we cannot go out home. Here, if some of you are wondering, what am I writing? It says, Ramune in Katakana. So, I'm racing against time here. <laughs> yes, there you go. So it's um again the racing. Uh, all these talk about food is making me hungry. Have you guys had lunch yet? If yes, what did you have? Uh oh, vibes only asked me. What is a Japanese dish I don't like? Well, I did explain it just now, so, yeah.
Okay. okay. Now it's time to color. doing the basic one because hmm, can I pick that I'm gonna play there. Oh um since we're pressing time I'm sorry we can't we can't <laughs> however in the next opportunity yes we can so This year, so if you guys want to sing for me, go ahead. Sing. I feel less stress or nervous. <laughs> Request, but hey, I hope you're nonetheless. I hope you're enjoying this. This is what's cool about ABT Pro. You can color on the whim on the fly. It's okay. Oh, yeah. So again. After this, don't forget to follow Fanfest, Lana, and Tumble USA, and then me down here. And then also, if you like what you see here, you can go to my link, I mean, on my Instagram bio, and you can, what do you call it? You can show your love and appreciation for me. Do my tip jar. Yes, 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 tip jar. So, okay. Hello. So, there you have it, folks. Okay, one more color, and we're done. liking the shirt design. You know what's cool to do at times when you have nothing to do at home? You pick up fashion magazines and draw from the models and use their clothing for reference. So there. It's complete, folks. There you have it. Drawing pen looks very sharp, yeah. Yeah. Very cool. 
So depending on what looks you're going for, you can use either the brush pen or the drawing pens to ink. Thank you again, folks. So, so thank you to everyone who joined us again on Instagram and YouTube Live. And thank you again to Tombo USA and Shirley for a super fun event. Make sure to give their page a follow. You can also visit the link in our bio to show Shirley some love. And come join us on our finale weekend at JapanFest.org on September 26 and 27. And we do have a special announcement. Tune in tomorrow because we have a special video letter from someone you'll never guess. So thank you again for today. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you.